Hey, what's going on? We're going through this ultimate go tour at Arden Labs. I'm going to give you a coupon for a course at the end of this video, or it's down below in the in the comments. And we're in this welcome section right here. And just to be thorough, we've already gone through the first one and the second one, and we learned about the time package in the last couple of videos. And then here's here's the that was the third, and then here's like the fourth. Um, and you could contribute to the project. <laughs> That's all we're going to say about that. You could pause the video and read about it, so you could do a PR and add things. And then here's the fifth one. And it could be easy just to skip over these, right? It could be easy to skip over these last ones right here. It's just a bunch of text. Hey, I want to get into coding. At least that impulse exists within me uh, just to like, you know, get down to business and get things done. And But I really wanted, and I'm making a video about this, this step here in the ultimate go tour right here. I'm making a video about this right here because there's a lot of really great material in here, these links. And so, uh, and uh, I really encourage you to come in and, and take a look at it. And I've highlighted some of it. So that's what we're gonna talk about here. And so here are like the main takeaways from that page that stood out to me. And, uh, and the first one is, is like, how do you do code reviews? Like, what do you look for? When you're doing a code review, right? Or you're having a code review being done on your code, like what, what do you wish was being looked for? And so these design guidelines, what is presented here in this, in this page right here are design guidelines. And, uh, and it gives you a framework for starting to think about that. And so I like this, these big four, and this is forwarded by Bill Kennedy. And I'm gonna tell you more about that if you don't already know coming up. But uh, these big four items are integrity, readability, simplicity, performance, in that order. And you could remember those as like, these are the things we're looking for, right? When you're doing a code review and you can remember all those four in that or order with the acronym, the acronym IRSP, <laughs> right? So I, integrity, R, readability, S, simplicity, and then uh, P, performance. And it should be in that order. So the first thing you want to make sure when you're doing a code review is that your code has integrity. Right? Like, is it well-built code? It's, is it engineered well? Is it gonna hold together? Is it gonna break? Is there something that you didn't see about it? Right? Make sure that code has integrity. That's number one. The second thing is you wanna make sure the code is readable. And we'll look a little bit more at this here in a second. Right? But readability is like the second number one factor that you're writing code for, right? Because you're not gonna be the only person to work on that code. Somebody else is gonna come along and work on that code. And at some point you might transition <laughs> into another state of existence <laughs> or into another job somewhere else. And then somebody else is gonna inherit your code and you wanna be able to have that code be readable to the average developer. And so if you are above average, it's your responsibility to like make that code readable for the average developer. Don't be like concise and clever and, uh, and have complexity at the expense of other people being able to understand what's going on, right? Bring it down, bring it down, make it average, make it readable so that other people can read it and, and then bring up people who are beneath average so they understand it, right? And so uh, that's the second thing you shoot for is readability. And then the third thing is simplicity. And this is part of being readable, but you want to keep your code simple, not complex. And so uh, simplicity is the third thing. And then the fourth thing is performance. And performance, uh, there's a lot to think about when it comes to performance, but you could break it down into two general categories. Like what are your external latencies? What are your internal latencies? And you could also think about how are you accessing data on the machine? How is data being stored? And then finally, what are algorithm uh, uh, efficiencies? And so those are kind of the things that you would think about when you're thinking about performance. And so all of that, all of that comes from one of the links. So there's a bunch of links on these pages and you could go explore them. But it comes from this link right here and this is one of the links on the page. And so you could go through here and here are these design guidelines. And so this is like the extra added value that comes from looking at this ultimate go tour, right? As opposed to just going to, which is also great, right? But this builds upon it, the ultimate go tour builds upon this. But if you just go to the go dev uh, web page and then take a look down below, down here you have the tour, right? And so what's the difference between this tour, which is, right, just the normal go tour, and the ultimate go tour is that you get this extra level of analysis, all these links here, additional information to think about uh, being added onto that. So it's really kind of open sourcing it and growing it to make it more robust to help us all learn more efficiently. And so there's a lot of really great information in this document right here. And uh, I just read through it, and uh, a lot of the stuff I just shared with you comes 
uh, from this document right here. So thinking about like what's your design philosophy, like right? There's the design philosophy, integrity's first. And you can see integrity just went by there. And you could pause the video here if you want and you could read that information about integrity or you could go look this document up. And, uh, and then the next thing after that, right, you could pause it there, is readability. And then you could pause the video there. And then the next thing after that is simplicity. And you could pause the video there. And the next thing after that is performance, right? So some really good stuff in there. Um, so that's the first thing. Like here's another great link that was in there is just this talk by Rob Pike. Uh, simplicity is complicated. And then some other really good links that are on that page. There's a link to Ultimate Go Tooling and Ultimate Go Packages. And, uh, and then you saw my notes already. Um, and then also a link to uh, the Go for Slack channel. So you could go check that out and join that if you want to. So all those links are there. That's the fifth step here in this welcome. In the next coming videos, we are going to uh, start looking at the language mechanics. And I'll go through and make a video for each of those things just because it's kind of fun and it'll help all of us learn. If you want to take my course, uh, you could go to Udemy, Todd McLeod. You could Google that, two Ds in Todd. And uh, I'm having a hard time typing. And so there's my courses, all my courses. You can come in here, learn how to code Go. And if you want to take a look at Bill Kennedy's course uh, where he goes through a lot of that stuff in more depth, come into Arden Labs, go to training, and then come down here to self-based training, go to four individuals. And uh, down here, the Ultimate Go Bundle, if you uh, click enroll in this, I'm already enrolled, it's gonna actually just take me into it. Uh, but if you click on this, I'm gonna open it up in an incognito window. And if you watch these videos, you saw us before, you could uh, have a discount coupon, you could enter my name and then click apply and it'll give you some sort of a discount to be determined. <laughs> you can go see what kind of a discount it gives you and be surprised by that. All right, so that's a little bit about uh, all of that. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, say hello. I'll see you in the next videos.